It's very typical to lure a dog to place using a pointer command with your finger. It's helpful to give them that visual, especially when they're going far away from you. Whenever possible, I prefer shaping for place. This way they have to problem solve and internalize. What I'm doing here is I'm putting treats on the bed so that he keeps going on. As long as he stays there, the treats keep coming. I'm feeding him in intervals. This way it's clear that it is a valuable place to be. And notice I'm feeding him from three to five treats and in intervals, just depending on the dog. Every dog is different. Your dog might be a little less predictable. He tries to get off really quick, so you'll feed him a little more, or more often. Notice I just threw a treat on the floor because Finley's pretty comfortable there. So it's not only the duration I need, but I also need repetition. So in order to get that repetition, I need to send him from somewhere and what you will also see is in a short amount of time, I will fade out the food that I use for Finley. Notice a few seconds ago, Finley went back to place on his own. He's noticing it's a valuable place to be. If you're wondering when do you add the verbal cue, when a dog just goes back on his own, just wait three or four repetitions and start saying his name, then place. Watch what happens here. He looks at me and I wait. Be patient. And wait. And he gets it. And your dog will too. Now, if you notice what I did right there, I already knew he was going back, but I said his name because he was on his way and I knew he would look at me. So I got his name and that command in. There, it looked like he would break, so I threw another treat. Finley, place. Good boy. Good boy. Finley. Notice that one, two, three command structure. Finley, free, and then my hand moves. Good. Here, I'm shaping eye contact. As you can see, if your dog hesitates, you don't have to repeat yourself. Just be patient and let him problem solve. 
Oh, and something else I forgot to mention. After you add the verbal cue, several repetitions after that. Once you're comfortable, add more distance. I only add one foot at a time. Notice I'm a little farther out now. Notice I didn't reward him for going on the place. I already know how good he's going to do at this point, so I only rewarded him from the release. Place. There was a pause in between his name and place because there was a better chance that he would get it and learn my facial muscles from me waiting. That's why I made those funny noises. This may sound kind of funny to some, but Finley being distracted by birds actually helps me because it gives me more time with him on place. I don't know if you can hear my neighbor's dog right now. No, I don't have a dog that's been in the crate for five days. Okay. Plenty of cool stuff just happened. I shaped the down, if you noticed, right when he laid down. Later on, when his mom tells him to go to place, he's going to have to. So naturally, he's going to want to lay down. But for right now, having the distractions from the birds and deciding to do the right thing, I shaped it. What just happened was exciting for me because Finley went to place from a farther distance, yes, but he was just distracted by birds again. So his mind toggling from one decision to the other, it was almost like hitting the reset button or getting the place command afresh. So it was a nice add on to this session.
真的。